Hi guys, today I want to speak to you about that you are a temple of the Most High God and Satan wants to take over. As a temple of the Most High God, you have to know that the day you gave your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, you became a temple of the Holy Spirit. In other words, the Holy Spirit came to dwell inside of you and your spirit and the Holy Spirit fused together and that's called the rebirth. In other words, your spirit and the Holy Spirit has become one. 1 Corinthians chapter 3 verse number 17 tells us this. But you are not just a spirit, you have a soul and you live in a body. This we find in 1 Thessalonians 5 verse number 23. And as a spirit that have a soul and live in a body, you have an enemy. His name is the devil. His name is Satan. He hates you. And he wants to oppress your soul because he wants to frustrate the purpose and the plan that God has for your life. That's right, many are the plans of a man's heart, but it's the purpose of the Lord that prevails. So how does Satan oppress the plan and the purpose that God has for your life? Very simple. He attacks your mind with everything he has so that he can infiltrate your mind. Because as a man thinketh, so is he. You have to understand, everything is in his name. Everything is in his job description. The word devil is the Greek word diabolos. The word dia means to penetrate from one side all the way to the other side. So Satan will give you a thought and accusation, lies, deception and all of these things until he finds a place of penetration. The root cause of deception is a place where we don't understand and apply the word of the Lord. This is the place of entry. And there is much more to say about this. But in this first segment, I want you just to understand that you are a spirit, you have a soul, and you live in a body. Secondly, God doesn't want to share you. You are a temple of the Most High God. Jesus' objective through the Holy Spirit is to keep you blameless, holy, and set apart. In other words, you cannot be shared. And so what is your step one of, of being holy? set apart and being in line of the plan and the purpose of God. It's very simply this. You have to get back into the word of the Lord. You have to baptize yourself in the word of the Lord. You have to know the Lord as much as you know the word of the Lord and you have to apply it accurately. And so in this first segment, I want to encourage you, get back into the word of God, get back into the thoughts of God, get back into the purpose of God, step away from oppression, Step away from the things that want to suggest anything to you but who you are in the Lord. Lastly, understand 2 Timothy chapter number 3 verse number 16 to 17 says this, that the word of the Lord is able to teach us in all matters of righteousness. So take that Bible today, get back into the things of God and live a life free from oppression, free from suggestions and free from accusations from your enemy, the devil. You are an overcomer, but you can only live out the purpose of God if you love the word of the Lord.